it is mail time. The cat's got a whole bunch of mail. There's even more than this. So let's open it up and let's see what they got. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Okay, we have an envelope here. This says, Hello, Lucky Ferals. I am so sorry for not sending you and the cats letters. I've been really busy on helping my grandma. She is 83 years old. I am helping her with the groceries, take out the garbage. So yeah, I will send another letter soon from Carlos DeLuca. Carlos, that is very nice that you are helping your grandma. I think it's even more important to help your grandma than to send me letters. So I don't feel bad about that. And thank you for this letter to let me know. Here's another envelope. Looks like a letter. It says, I just wanted to drop you a quick line to let you know how much I enjoy watching your channel. I am a senior living in a senior building who cares for community cats near my residence. I admire you so much because if I had my own home, I would love to do more for my community cats. Named Midnight, Mini Me, Sun, Smokey, Brother to Midnight, and Uncle to Mini Me. Mikey, brother to Smokey, Precious, and Baby. I would have them all inside with me. I was trying to find your link for the supplements that you give to your cats, deworm, parasite herbs, etc. on your site, but couldn't find them. Please, could you be so kind and email them to me? I do give them Immune Boost, Vetrolycine Plus, but one of the cats I'm concerned he eats well, but uh, stays thin. I know I'll probably have to take him to the vet, but meanwhile, I wanted to try what you use. Thank you kindly. Marlene Thompson. Thank you so much for the letter, Marlene, and I will send you an email. And here's another envelope. Looks like a card. This says, have a wild birthday. The wild cat. There's five dollars to the Lucky Feral Stella Boo Splash Simba Hydrox and Ditto from Eileen. Thank you so much for this card, Eileen. And with everything that's been going on with Ditto, I almost completely forgot that Stella and Boo are turning six years old. They were born in 2015, that is the estimate, since the kittens were born in 2016. And the kittens turned five uh, just about a month and a half ago. So it's estimated that Stella and Boo are turning six this month. And I will be celebrating it with them this coming week. And now we have a, a bag here from Amazon. Let's see what's in it. This says, thought you might enjoy this. If Ditto ever needs a home, I'll try to win over the missus from the fishy household. And I guess this is from Fishy Tow Talk. Let's open this up and see what's inside. How does it open? Oh, it's a computer mouse. Check that out. It's a wireless mouse. I've never seen one like this before. Isn't that adorable? They're so cute, and I could use one, too. I don't have a wireless mouse, so thank you very much. Okay, and here we have another Amazon bag. This says, Hi, Lucky Ferals. Hope the cats can play with the toy to satisfy their hunting instincts. And also included the cat food and Petco gift card. Hoping it reaches you safely. Regards... Jutin Mera from Jutin Mera. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And the cat's got a mixed twisted kicker. This is a catnip toy. It's a Jackson Galaxy catnip toy. It's one of those long kicker toys. I wonder if Ditto would like this. It says the building blocks that define cat mojo engage raw cat instinct to build confidence. Hunt, chase, kill, eat, groom, and sleep. Cats get greater satisfaction from kickers with extra stuffing, mixed materials, and USA organic catnip. Thank you very much. Here's another Amazon bag. This says, hi, I've been supporting five feral cats at my home. 
plus two regular visitors. This started last spring. I have been enjoying the Boudet videos and I am at day 74. I saw you had a wish list and wanted to help from Linda Bradlin. Well, thank you very much, Linda. Thank you for watching the videos. And uh, wow, Boudet 74, that was, it was quite a long time ago and that was a very dramatic time those uh the first 100 days with boo i hope you're enjoying the videos and thank you so much for watching and we got a visa gift card that is so awesome i'll put this aside for cat supplies thank you very much here's another amazon this says a gift from jutin mm enjoy your gift and the cat's got a $25 Petco gift card. Thank you so much. I've gone through just about all of my Petco gift cards, so I'll put this in the cat's wallet and use it the next time I go to Petco. Here's another Amazon bag. I think this is the last Amazon bag. This is a gift for you. Enjoy your gift from Janet Kusinski. I know I probably pronounced that wrong, but thank you very much, Janet. This is a Petco $25 gift card. Thank you so much. I will definitely put this to good use on cat supplies. And here's an Amazon box. Let's open this and see what's in here. Cat's got some food. The cat's got a bag of dry cat food. This is the uh, Nature's Variety Instinct Original. A grain-free recipe with real chicken dry cat food. They love this cat food. And this says it's a gift from Jutin M. Mayra. Again, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but thank you so much. And here we have a box from George Senda. Look at all of the stamps on this box. Isn't that cool? I've never seen so many stamps on a box before. Let's open it up. Okay, let's open this. There's a note. It says LF plastic bags were kept in a large plastic bag in my bedroom long before the pandemic. Hope this helps. Sees candy bags inside bags too. Huh. All right. Bags on top and Safeway bags are new. Uh, something was sticky on the bags and I used Simple Green on them. It ate the paint. Who knew? George. Well, thank you very much for these bags, George. I'll definitely put them to good use. Oh, check this out. We got some Easter napkins. Look at this little tiny C's candy bag. This is so adorable. I'm going to use this for the post office. That's what I used the uh, the last bag. I think like a year ago, George sent me uh, a C's candy bag that was a little bit bigger. And it's the perfect size for a post office. Um, and this is cute too if I need to mail like uh, some letters and stuff. Uh, this is awesome. Thank you very much, George. We got some Temptations mix-ups. Catnip fever, chicken catnip and cheddar. We got some Friskies party mix, beachside crunch with ocean whitefish, and flavors of shrimp, crab, and tuna. Thank you very much, George. Oh, we got watermelon plates. I love watermelon. It's like my favorite food. We got some Easter plates. Cats are set for next Easter. Oh, Stella just woke up. We got more Easter plates. These are a good size uh, for like Hydrox and Ditto outside when they eat together. Thank you very much, George. And here's another Easter plate. And here's a big C's shopping bag. And what's in here? This says it is a C's candies Easter candy dish. Is that what it is? Oh, 
Oh wow, look at that. Oh, and there's a there's a chocolate bunny inside. That's so cute. I've never had one of their chocolate bunnies before. So here's the candy dish. And then here's the cover. Here's the candy dish with the cover. That's really cute. That'll be a cute Easter decoration. Thank you very much, George. It's always so nice of you to think of us. We hope you are doing well and all of your kitties are doing well and everything is going okay out there in California. Stella says, thank you very much, George. She can't wait to try the treats. And we have a really, hello Simba. And we have, and we have a really big box here from Sharon. I wonder what Sharon sent the cat. Did she send them some blankets? Some quilts? Let's open this and find out. Stella has decided she is going to watch from this round toy. I don't even know what it's called. Here's a note. It says, Dear LF's mom, hope all is well with you and your kitties. Just wanted to send you some things I've made. Please share with Grandma, Farrell, or with whomever you would like. The large item with the yellow straps with Velcro is a car bag that can be put around the back of a car seat to use as a trash bag or to hold anything. Oh, that's cool. I also made two smaller versions that can hang from a shifter knob if you wanted to. All three have a waterproof material inside that can be wiped away easily. The quilts are made with batting that when washed will crinkle up and shrink a bit and look like an old fashioned quilt, which makes them cuddlier. I enjoy your videos and I'm hoping Ditto is better soon. Thanks for being so kind to Hydrox and Ditto as well as being such a great cat mom to Stella, Splash, Simba, and Boo. Enjoy your summer. Hugs and purrs, Sharon and Sunday. Thank you so much, Sharon and Sunday, for that lovely letter. And now let's look at the goodies that you sent for the cat. Oh, look at this. Look at this beautiful quilted tote bag. Isn't this awesome? It's all cats. And the inside is all cats. That is so cute. Is this reversible? Or is it just uh, outside and inside? I wonder. Yeah, look, I think that might be reversible. That is so cute. This will definitely get a lot of really good use. I use a lot of recyclable bags when I go shopping. And also, I'm always looking for tote bags to throw stuff in um, when I'm going away for the weekend. So thank you so much. And look at this. This is really nice. This is like a table runner. Look at the black cats. Look at the cats in the middle. I wonder if I could use this on uh, some of the cat shelves. It might be a good fit for some of that too. And look at the other side. Sharon always has like amazing cat themed fabric. It is so cute. It looks like Boo. That's adorable. Thank you so much, Sharon. And check out this bag. I'm wondering if this is the bag that she said fits over like a shifter knob. Because this would be great in my car because I do have like the shifter knob. And then this would hang over it and be like a really good little garbage bag. And it feels like it's waterproof inside. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Stella's watching. <laughs> She's like, what is that? What is that? Look at this, Stella. Look. This is the uh, bag that goes over the the seat. So this would hang in the back seat, which is which is awesome. This would be like really great for uh, for traveling, like on road trips and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And then here's another one of the smaller ones. Check out that fabric. Look at those cats. Really awesome, Sharon. You do such beautiful work. You are so talented. Ooh, and what is this? Look at this. Look at this bag. Look at that print with like the pink. It almost looks like pink leopards. And then are those tigers or are they just cats? They could just be tabbies. Pink tabby cats. And check out the coordinating fabric inside. And it has a pink zipper. The attention to detail is amazing. Thank you so much, Sharon. Actually, you know what? Grandma Farrell's birthday is tomorrow. So what I think I might do 
is give this to her for her birthday from the cats. We got a really pretty accessory pouch. Isn't that pretty with all the flowers on it? That's so pretty. And then inside, there are more pink flowers. It is so nice. And look at this one. Look at these cats. They're so cute. I don't know where she finds this fabric. It is always the most adorable fabric. And the fabric inside is like always perfectly coordinated. It's so cute. Thank you. And look at this one. Look at all those cats. Remind me of Simba. Oh, and this one looks like, this one looks like Sophia. That's so pretty. And there's a coordinating fabric. Look at this. Ooh, look at this. So here's one side of the quilt. I love these colors. These colors are so, they're just so summery. I really like this. And then here's the other side with butterflies and flowers. Stella, you wanna, you wanna check this one out? Stella, do you think you might wanna lay on that? And here's another quilt. Look how colorful this one is. All of these fabrics are so nice. And look at the back, it's almost like water. Reminds me of like a swimming pool. Thank you very much, such beautiful work. Oh, and look at this one, it's like red, white, and blue. This is like a patriotic quilt. That is so awesome. This will be really nice for like around the 4th of July. Stella's getting a little bit excited. Yeah, she said she can't wait to use these quilts. Thank you very much, Sharon and Sunday. Actually, you know, I might give this one to Grandma Farrell also because she was born on Flag Day. So she likes everything that's like red, white, and blue. So. And here on the back, we have like a nautical blue and white stripe. That is so nice. This totally reminds me of summer. This is totally like a summer July quilt. Thank you so much. Here's another accessory pouch. These always come in handy. I use a lot of these for um, like chargers. Look at the bananas inside, all the different bananas. Again, the colors are like a perfect match. Yeah, these are great. So these are great for uh, chargers. Sometimes I'll put like external hard drives in here. Obviously they're really good um, for like makeup and toiletries and those kind of uh, accessories really they can be used for so many different things so thank you so much and look at this quilt isn't this a nice color scheme with the brown and it's almost like a like a dusty aqua that is so nice this reminds me of coffee cappuccino you are really spoiling me and the cats with all of this amazing handiwork and then here's the back it's like a uh, brown and beige stripe. Look at this adorable little bag. I see this and I'm like, oh, well, this is so retro. This reminds me of the 80s. Look at the inside fabric. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, and look at this fabric with these ice cream sandwiches. At least I think these are ice cream sandwiches. They're making me hungry right now. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. And look at the cute stars inside. Thank you so much. Here's another accessory pouch. It almost looks like watercolor cats. So cute. And this has like a pink blush fabric inside, which matches the flowers. Here's a little pouch. Here's a little pouch. It's floral with pretty blue inside. These are really great for holding headphones and stuff. That's like what I use them for, even though I lose my headphones all the time, but like uh, little wires and stuff like that. That's what I, I like to use these for. And look at this one, it's so sparkly. And this is for a little pack of tissues. That is so cute. This reminds me of Christmas. 
it's like a sparkly vinyl which is nice because it keeps it pretty much waterproof thank you so much oh wow look at this look at the ice cream i have not had ice cream uh, or an ice cream sandwich in quite a long time so this is just like a total tease for me oh my gosh and look at the zipper it's a perfect match for like the mint chocolate chip which is my absolute favorite ice cream and look at the green inside love that this is a really pretty floral bag this reminds me of springtime and again look the zipper is like perfect it's a perfect match to the uh, fabric and there's the inside it's so pretty look at this bag look at the adorable kittens on it it's like a bunch of rainbow kittens so cute and a really pretty green fabric inside and here's a cute little pink pouch with white daisies on it it's adorable with matching fabric inside and check out this one it looks like a painting Sharon must sew really fast like it would take me a month to make one of these this is really cool oh Simba's gonna check it out Simba what are you doing look at the inside Simba Simba we're opening these we're opening this is a present from Sharon and Sunday you're not gonna help me open them up you want to sit on them instead I can give you whatever one you want, Simba. You want, which one do you want? You want this brown one? Here. You want this brown one? Because it kind of, kind of matches you a little bit. You want to lay on here? Come on. You could lay on here. You don't have to lay on here because I'm trying to open this bag. I'm trying to finish seeing what's inside the bag, Simba. What do you want? You want this one? Okay, put it over here. You play with it over there. No? Do you smell Sunday? Is that what it is? Did you want this one? You want some tissues? Sim says he approves. He says, thank you very much, Sharon. He came to thank you personally. You want the purple? Because this, uh, this is what you barged in on. You want the purple? Did you want this one? With the pink flowers? No? Okay. Can you move? Can you get up and move? Okay, let's see. I'll give you the bag. Let me take everything out of the bag, then you can have the bag. Here. There. Sit on the bag. Sit on the bag, Simba. You could sit on it. Sit on the bag. We also got another accessory pouch. This one's like peacock feathers. Uh-oh. Stella's going after Simba. She's probably going to try to bite his butt again. She has that look in her eye like she wants to play. Uh-oh. Simba, don't turn your butt to your mother. And we got this accessory pouch. Look at all those cats. They look like Simba. They're all beautiful tabbies. And look at this one with the black cats on it. These are really furry black cats. Boo doesn't have that much fur, but once again, look at the zipper. It's like a perfect match for the eyes. Like, I don't even know how you do that. And here's the inside. Again, perfect coordinating. Perfectly coordinated fabrics. So cool. And here's a very pretty floral bag. And look at this bag with all of the kittens outside in a garden. It is so pretty. And there's the matching fabric. And check this out. Look at all of those cats. This one kind of looks like Stella. And the Siamese. A bunch of cats in another garden. Well, there you have a bunch of flowers and stuff. And this is cool. It has like an outside pocket. I wonder if this might be nice for it, like a tablet. And there's a matching floral print inside. 
Stella says, thank you so much for all of these amazing goodies, Sharon and Sunday. Look at all of this amazing work that Sharon does. She is so incredibly talented, not only to be able to sew all of these items, but to pick out such beautiful fabrics, but to perfectly match exterior fabrics with the interior fabrics and then with like the zippers and the trim and everything. That takes a lot of talent. So uh, thank you so much, Sharon and Sunday. I'm here with Stella and it is mail time. Hey, Stella. You hanging out with the mail? You gonna lay on it? Stella says she likes to lay on mail. Okay, Stella, but we're gonna open it, okay? We're gonna open it. This one has a sticker of a raccoon on it, Stella. Let's see what's inside of it, okay? Are you gonna help me? You wanna help? You just want pets? Okay, fluffy, Stella. You're so fluffy. Okay, let's open it. Look at that! Isn't that cute? It says, what? I forgot your birthday. Hmm, thank you very much. It says, Ack, I think I just passed a fur ball of shame. Happy belated birthday. This is from Nicole LaRue. This says, hello everyone, it's time to celebrate and a birthday is important. What will be on the menu? Do grandma or grandpa are invited to your place? Lady LF, will you make a special cake for Stella and Boo? I'm in love with all your cats inside and outside. I love your videos and I don't miss any. Maybe in a few weeks I will look for another cat in better health than the two last one. It is to follow. On June 24th, 2021, Stella and Boo are six years old. Yeah, Stella and Boo are six years old this month. It's an estimate. We don't know exactly what day they were born. Lady LF, please explain to Stella and Boo what is that joke? It makes me smile. Thank you so much, Nicole, for this adorable card and for the donation for the cats. I'll definitely put this to good use on cat supplies. Here's Stella. She says, thank you very much. And yes, I do plan on making them a cake. I was hoping to bake them a cake today. Uh, maybe I'll do that after I film a mail time. I want to try a new recipe or a new experiment and see how it comes out. So uh, thank you very much for thinking of them on their birthday. And I hope you find the perfect cat for you to provide a home for. Right, Stella? Want to smell this? Like it? Look at that, Stella. Isn't it cute? It got a little piggy on it. It says a note of thanks. A note of thanks. Oh, thank you very much. To the Lucky Ferals, Stella Boo Splash, Simba Hydrox Ditto from Eileen. Thank you very much, Eileen, for the adorable card and your generous donation. And here's another envelope. This one has some stickers on the back, some peace signs, and a flower. We're a starburst. Stella says she's a little tired. She's been napping all day. Check that out, Stella, look. Isn't it cute? It says, advice from Dr. Katz. Take two aspirin. Have somebody shove them down your throat. <laughs> Ooh, thank you very much. And this says, my advice, get well fast. Hope this little money will be use in the health of Ditto. This is from Nicole LaRue. Thank you very much, Nicole LaRue, for the donation for Ditto. It says, videos, season four, episode 144, with Ditto in the opening on June 4th, 2021. I saw the video of Ditto limping, going to the vet, and also coming into your house. Wow. I hope he will get very well soon and return with his friend Hydrox is the vet confirms that Ditto is a he or a she. Uh, yeah, the vet has confirmed that Ditto is a he. Um, I knew that Ditto was a he um, before taking him to the vet. It's just Hydrox uh, that is questionable. Hydrox could be uh, a she just because he doesn't look uh, like a he. He doesn't look like Ditto who's clearly a he and Boo is clearly a he. 
uh, Hydrox doesn't look like that, um, but it just could be because I've never been able to get a really good look. So Hydrox could be a he or he could be a she. Uh, this says, ditto, you are safe with Lady LF. Take your time and rest a lot. You will recover in the hands of Lady LF. Stay calm and you will enjoy this room. After later, you will remember that you had the best time of your life. That's right. I hope he remembers. Be nice with the inside family of cats, Stella, Splash, Simba, and Boo. I know that you know them by the door, but in real could be a pleasant reunion. Thank you very much, Nicole, for this adorable card and uh, for sending Ditto some get well wishes. And here's another card. And this one says anonymous, please. That's fine. This says, hello all. We have been following you since before Boo moved inside. We appreciate all you do for Stella, Boo, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Ditto. The enclosed is to help out with Ditto's vet bill. We are following his recovery. We're also invested in Hydrox's well-being. So happy that your heart is so big. You take care of very lucky ferals. Thank you so much for this card and your very generous donation. And I am happy to keep this anonymous, but I did want to film it so that you knew uh, I received it. So thank you very much. I hope you've been enjoying the videos. Here we have another card. Look at that. This is very pretty. It says, my day is always brighter when I think of you. Look at all those flowers. And we have a PetSmart gift card that is awesome. Just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way today from Eileen. I hope Ditto gets better. Thank you so much, Eileen, for the PetSmart gift card. I'll definitely put that to good use. I was just at PetSmart yesterday using one of the other PetSmart gift cards. And I'll use this one in the future. I hope you're doing well. And here's another card. Look at that with the cat. Isn't that pretty? This is Cats in Art by Susan Herbert after Sandro Botticelli's The Birth of Venus. That's so cute. This says, Dear Ms. Lucky Ferrells, I just want to send a little something for Ditto's medical care. Thank you so much for your kindness. I hope he makes a full recovery and that Hydrox also gets an opportunity for some R&R &R at your spa in the future. I enjoy your videos so much and look forward to them and also to Grandma and Grandpa's cooking presentations. Sincerely, Janet Stemper. Thank you so much, Janet, for this lovely card and for your generous donation toward Ditto's Care. I hope you have been enjoying the videos and Ditto and Hydrox say thank you very much. What do we have here? Is this a letter? Can you see the cat sticker? It's like a shiny cat. Thank you very much. It says, Dear Lady Lucky Ferrells, thank you, thank you, thank you for your tender, loving care of Ditto in his hour of need. I appreciate so much your timely response in taking Ditto to the vet when you saw that his limp was getting worse and not improving. You will never know how touched I was by how you prepared Boo's room for Ditto. You put so much thought and care into every detail, putting the gate on the door, assembling his cage and getting it ready with the towel, water dish, food plate, and litter box. And let's not forget the two new toys. Stella's plastic basket with the beautiful blanket, the purple royal cat bed now to be occupied by a prince, fresh clean covering for the day sofa, the Halloween scratcher house, and the litter box and mat. Oh my, I get tired just writing all of that. I can't imagine all the energy required in actually doing the work. Small wonder you were so exhausted that day. Yeah, that was a very exhausting day because not only did I have to get Ditto to the vet and deal with all the COVID restrictions at the vet, but I also had to rearrange so many things in the house and prepare Boo's room. So um, I basically had to take the day off work just to do that, but thankfully I do have a flexible enough schedule that allowed me to do that. This is, I went to the bank today to get some American money so that I can contribute to Ditto's vet bills. I am sorry that I am unable to send you money directly as I don't own any credit cards and don't have an email address. 
Yes, I'm a true blue dinosaur. I hope that Cash is still king. Yeah, Cash is always king. I realize that your YouTube viewers have generously sent you donations, so perhaps you have Ditto's expenses covered already. If that is the case, would you kindly put this donation into a cat medical savings account so that you will always have a little money in the bank for any other cat emergencies that you might have? I don't want you to ever worry about how you are going to pay the vet bills. Please continue to care for yourself, dear Lady Lucky Ferals. I recognize how exhausting it is to care for all your cats, but it is plain for all to see why the cats pick you. With much love, Trudy. Thank you so much for this awesome letter, Trudy, and thank you so much for your extremely generous donation. And I will put that in the emergency fund that I have for the cats. The cats have their own bank account, and I make deposits in their bank account every month. And I hope to have enough money in that bank account so that if there's ever uh, major emergencies for any of the cats, uh, that it will cover it. But with four cats inside and two cats outside, I definitely keep adding to that account because vet bills are very expensive. I don't think I ever mentioned the cost of Ditto's vet bill. So when I took him to the animal hospital that day, um, treating him for his leg and then testing him for uh, FIV and feline leukemia, and then all the medicines and everything else, the total was about $800. So it definitely all added up. So uh, donations like yours are very much appreciated. Thank you so much, Trudy. Thank you for watching the videos and we hope you've been enjoying them. And here's one more envelope. This says happy birthday with a cute little bunny rabbit on it. Thank you very much. It says to Lucky Ferals, Stella Boo, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Ditto from Eileen. Thank you, Eileen, for remembering Stella and Boo's birthday. And I'll buy something special for them with your donation. I'm here with Boo and Simba, and it is mail time. The cat's got some mail, so let's open it up and see what they got. There's Boo. Here's playing with the fish. And there's Simba. He's sitting with the fish taco. Okay, so the cat's got an envelope. Let's open it up. Let's smell it, Simba. Simba approves of it. It's a card. It's pretty. It's a painting. Does it go this way or does it go this way? Thank you very much. It says to the Lucky Ferals, Stella Boo, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Ditto from Eileen. Thank you so much, Eileen, for this lovely card and your donation. And we have another card. You want to smell that one? Okay, someone says it's okay. It says, hi, it's just me. Look at the little kitten. The little orange tabby. It's so cute. Thank you very much. It says, two lucky ferals, two ditto, your little day brighten upper from Eileen. Thank you very much for this donation, Eileen. I'll buy some cat food for ditto. Uh, with that, he really, really loves um, some of the canned food from Petco. And so I'll buy some more of that for him. Thank you. And here's another envelope. Simba says, you want, you want to check this one out, Simba? Okay, he says, this is okay. Look at that colorful card. This is from the School for the Blind, so a blind person painted that. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much. It says, To the Lucky Ferals, Stella Boo Splash Simba Ditto from Eileen. Thank you so much, Eileen. I'll, I'll put this toward cat food for the cats. And here's another card from Eileen. Eileen is so good to the cats. And this is another painting from the School for the Blind. Isn't that nice? Thank you very much, Eileen. To the Lucky Ferals, Stella Boo, Splash Simba, Hydrox, and Ditto from Eileen. I'll put all of these donations together and I'll buy them like a case of food. Thank you very much. There's cat toys all over because the cats were playing. 
Simba has decided to move away. So here's one more card for Miley. And it's the pretty little orange tabby kitten. It says, hi, it's just me. Thank you very much, Eileen. Two lucky ferals to Ditto. Your little day brighten upper from Eileen. I will buy some special treats for Ditto. Thank you very much. And here's another card. This one is from Debbie Kirby. It says, we hope that today you're feeling better than yesterday. This is to Ditto. It says, dearest Ditto, my fur babies Spaz, Mamimi, and Coco are wishing you a speedy recovery. And I am too, of course. We watch your videos all the time. I especially enjoy them because I love all cats. All three of my fur babies were rescue kitties from the wild. And the three I had before these three, Pookie Kitty and Lil Black Kitty, were all rescues too. That is so nice of you, Debbie, to rescue all of those cats. They have since crossed over the Rainbow Bridge, but I know we will see them again someday. Feral cats make the best and most unique pets. Yes, they make awesome pets. They are by far my favorite. Thank you for sharing your family with us. Give Stella, Simba, Splash, Hydrox, and Boo a big hug for us. Please get better soon. Love you guys too. There's a bookmark. That's a cute bookmark. Like a magnetic bookmark. This bookmark is for your caretaker and wonderful cat mom. Please use it in good health as you continue to read on how to best take care of these incredible fur babies. Thank you so much for this bookmark. It will definitely be put to good use in some of the cat books that I'm reading. It says, and that tomorrow you feel even better. Get well soon. Love you all bunches. Debbie Spasma, Mimi, and Coco. Thank you so much, Debbie Spasma, Mimi, and Coco for this wonderful card and for the bookmark. And thank you so much for all your support and for watching the videos. And thank you very much for your generous donation. And here are the fur babies. So on the left, we have Spaz. In the middle, Mamimi, who kind of looks like Simba. And on the right, there's Coco, who kind of looks like Boo. What cute cats. They're all so very lucky to be rescued by Debbie. Thank you very much. And here we have a package that came all the way from Canada. This is from Trudy. It says, two lady lucky ferals. Look at the cat sticker. Oh, and check this out. Look at this. Dr. Pitcairn's Complete Guide to Natural Health for Dogs and Cats. That's really cool. Chapter one, we need a new approach to pet health care. That is so true. Here's a pretty flower sticker. And I think we have a letter. This says, Dear Lady Lucky Ferals, I was thrilled to see your video in Natural Cat Health books today. As I have been downsizing and going through my books, I came across a couple of extra copies of one of my cat books and I immediately thought of you. And since I did not see it mentioned in the books that you were recommending, it has prompted me to get this book out in the mail sooner rather than later. My sister inherited a street cat that later became very sick. We had to take her to the emergency clinic. After the cat received emergency treatment, she lacked vitality when she came home. We relied on the following two books to turn her situation around to help her thrive and experience optimum health. My sister was a first time cat owner and didn't know anything about cats. I didn't know anything about cats either. I met a girl who recommended the following two books. She told me that these two books would save me thousands of dollars in vet bills. She was right. However, as you are well aware, Lady LF, there is a time and place for veterinary care. A person can't fool around with natural health remedies when the cat needs emergency care. My motto is, when in doubt, get the cat in to see a competent veterinarian err to the side of caution. My favorite cat book is one that you already have in your library and that you showed in your video. The Natural Cat, newly revised and expanded by Anitra Frazier with Norma Eckroat. I love, love, love Anitra Frazier. I have read her book from cover to cover and highlighted and underlined many parts in between. I always thought I was a dog person, but this lady has such a love and understanding of cats that she makes the reader fall in love with cats. As I was reading Anitra's book, I kept telling her how much I loved her for writing this book. Do you think she heard me? LOL. The other book that we used and I would highly recommend is Dr. Pitcairn's Complete Guide to Natural Health for Dogs and Cats by Richard H. Pitcairn, DVM, PhD, and Susan Hubble Pitcairn. This is the book that I'm sending you. I hope you'll find this book as useful as I did. 
we did different things that were recommended in the above mentioned two books to improve our cat's health. Once we finished with the treatments that were related to our cat's condition, we focused on diet. All we did was add one tablespoon of water and a quarter teaspoon of nutritional yeast and a quarter teaspoon of wheat bran to a quarter of a tin of Fancy Feast Pate canned cat food. We also added a few crunchies and freeze-dried chicken, salmon, minnows, or sardines on top to make it a gourmet experience for our cat. I know that the books recommend a raw food cat diet, but we simply were unable to do that due to ongoing life emergencies. The water, nutritional yeast, and wheat bran really made a difference in just six weeks. We couldn't believe the improvement in our cat's coat. She was stunning. You can read about the benefits of bran and yeast in Anitra Fraser's book, The Natural Cat, Chapter 2 Diet, page 55. Just as a side note, my sister was unable to continue on the nutritional yeast and wheat bran as she was unable to find it in her grocery store. But she had some psyllium husk on hand, not Metamucil. It was the psyllium husk that you get from the natural health food stores. My sister told me that along with the water she adds to the cat's canned soft food pate, she just mixes in a pinch of psyllium husk. My sister's cat got bit by a bug when she was outside and she developed a sore under her eye that would not heal. We took the cat to the vet and followed the vet's protocol, but it didn't help. Interestingly, since my sister had just done this one thing, adding a pinch of psyllium husk, the cat's sore has completely disappeared and her coat is gorgeous. There is another bit of information that I wanted to pass along to you. When a cat gets sick and doesn't want to eat or drink, we learned that it is really important to try to keep the cat hydrated if you are unable to get the cat to a vet right away. When my sister's cat was in this situation, a clerk at the pet store told us to get unflavored Pedialyte and put it in a glass eyedropper. We then placed the eyedropper inside of the mouth by her cheek and toward the back pocket in the mouth of the cat so they don't bite the eyedropper or spit it out. We had to keep on repeating the process until the cat showed us that she had enough. I'm just passing this information along as it was life-saving for my sister's cat. It is just another tool for your toolbox. You can purchase Pedialyte from the baby section of your local grocery store. Just remember it has to be unflavored. I'm not finished yet, lol. There is one product that I can't be without. That is Veteracin Wound and Skin Care. I have used this product on a number of stray male tomcats who always came to me for care of their war wounds. The product always gave the cats such relief that they would actually seek me out after they had been in a cat fight. I have found that the liquid formula works better for cats than the gel. The cats want to lick the gel off if you are not spraying in a spot that they can't reach. I have also used the Veteracin Eye Wash and Veteracin Ear Rinse. These Veteracin products are amazing. They are my miracles in a bottle. I have all of them in my first aid kit for cats. My husband was peeking at my letter and he said, yes, you tell her about the Veteracin, that's good stuff. Because my husband witnessed firsthand how it helped the cats. He tried it on himself. He had a sore on his finger that wasn't healing. After he sprayed it on his wound, the pain immediately went away and the sore cleared up. So he is a believer. I would like to make it clear that it does say on the bottle, not for human use. I told my husband that, but he said he didn't care. He tried it and it worked. These are the main things that I've wanted to share with you. I appreciate you sharing your natural health book recommendations for humans. I had a large bookshelf filled with natural health books, but as you already know, I am downsizing. I gave most of my books to Goodwill. So if you or any of your viewers are looking for used natural health books or even cookbooks, I would highly recommend going to one of your local charity thrift stores where you can get books much cheaper instead of having to buy them brand new. Anyway, I meant to send you a book, not write one, lol. I trust you will find this information of interest with much love, Trudy. Thank you very much, Trudy, for this awesome letter. Um, yeah, there's lots of really great information in this letter. Um, I didn't know that about the Veteracin. I'll definitely take a look at obtaining some of that to have around uh, if situations arise with that. And I had heard about the nutritional yeast and the wheat bran, but it was really good to hear how it worked um, on your sister's cat. I always like hearing about people's experiences using various natural protocols. So that is awesome. And it's good to know about the unflavored Pedialyte too. I've heard about Pedialyte, um, but I've never really looked into it. So uh, thank you so much for that information also. And thank you so much for sharing this book. I can't wait to look through it. So thank you very much for thinking about us. The cats are gonna appreciate all of this. 
All right, we have one more box to open. Let's see what's in here. This says, enjoy your gift. I feed several feral kitties and have found that L-lysine really helps with the upper respiratory nasal and eye infections. The feline herpes virus is treated with this amino acid from Barbara Riggins. Thank you so much, Barbara. Oh, and check this out. There is a dustpan brush set and a catnip toy. Look at the little squirrel. That is so cute. Wow, and check this out. This is a big container of L-Lysine. 1,000 milligrams, 1,000 servings. This will go a long way with cats. It is just pure L-Lysine, which is an amino acid, no other ingredients. Very cool, thank you so much for this. This will definitely be put to good use for the cats. Thank you so much. And let's check this out. Hey, Boo. Boo says, what is that? Look at this. Look, it's a little. This is awesome. It's a little brush and dustpan. This is going to be great for getting litter up without using like a big noisy vacuum. So this is so cool. Thank you so much. It's nice and convenient. You could just hang it somewhere. Stella's going to check it out. And it comes with a cleaning rag or a dust rag also. Thank you so much. This will definitely be put to good use. There's Boo. He says, thank you very much, everybody. There's Simba. Simba says he wants that squirrel. And there's Stella and Splash. They say thank you very much, everybody, for a wonderful mail time. I just found some notes in the bottom of the box. This says, enjoy your gift. This is so you can quickly sweep up the loose cat litter without having to use the vacuum each time. It seems to scare a ditto from Barbara Riggins. And this one says, enjoy your gift. Ditto's crooked whiskers were so cute. I noticed that they became straighter after you fed him a lot. I wonder if a vitamin mineral deficiency causes crooked whiskers from Barbara Riggins. That's really interesting. I wonder if that's the case. I'm here with the mail and it is mail time. Let's see what the cat's got. So the cat's got an envelope. Is it a card? This says, sorry you're sick. And isn't that cute? It kind of looks like Ditto, right? Well, thank you very much. This says, Ditto, hope each day will find you feeling better than before and that it won't be long until you're feeling well once more. From Karen Sobolevsky. The money is for squeeze-ups, for treats, for everyone, including Hydrox, too. Thank you so much, Karen, for this lovely gift for the cats. I know they will enjoy some squeeze-ups. And here we have a card. Look at the cute little kitten. It says, hi, it's just me. Thank you very much. It says, to the lucky ferals, ditto. Your little day brighten upper from Eileen. Thank you so much, Eileen, for your generous donations and for this adorable card. And here we have another card. Look, it's the same card. The card is so nice that it was sent twice. And this says to the Lucky Ferals, to Ditto, your little day brighten upper from Eileen. Thank you so much, Eileen, for these donations. I'll put them towards cat food and treats for Ditto and Hydrox. And here we have an envelope. What's in here? This says, Dear LS, hope this gets to you before you need to go to vet. One to two drops two times a day in food for a few days might help with infection, inflammation in Ditto's mouth without toxic drug effects. I use for me and my cat from Elaine M. Kubiak RN. And it is a package of Silver Wings Colloidal Silver. This is a dietary supplement. This is a four ounce 
bottle, I believe, and it says it's for immune support. Thank you so much, Elaine, for sending this to the cats. The Ditto Day videos were filmed three to four weeks before they were posted, so he's fine now, but I will definitely keep this on hand in case it's needed in the future. Thank you so much for thinking about the cats. And here we have a box. It is really heavy, like really heavy. I wonder what's in it. Check that out. It is Earthborn Holistic Monterey Medley, which is skipjack tuna and grilled mackerel dinner in gravy. The cats love Earthborn holistic foods and they have canned fish once a week so this is perfect for them also ditto absolutely loves tuna so he's going to enjoy this also this package came from amazon but unfortunately there are not any notes inside so i don't know who sent this food to the cats if you sent this food to the cats please leave a comment below this video and let me know uh, in the meanwhile, I want to thank you very, very much for thinking of the cats and sending them some of this yummy food that they enjoy so much. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.